I mean, we were just sitting back, you One know, second. chopping it up. What's your head? It's gonna be a Jesse Knowles book without the pre work actually. of a grocery haul because mommy went shopping. I just had to grab a few essential things. So let's quickly go through what we got. I got avocados for obvious reasons. Simba wants to say something. What do you want to say? What do you want to say to everybody? We got some jats to have some dip. Tina wafers for obvious reasons. It's lockdown, it's my guilty pleasure. Then we've got 12 free range eggs. Two soy milks. Geordie and I collectively drink like seven liters of soy milk a week. It's so bad. We got a roast chicken. <gasps> roast chicken. Is that your favorite? Hello, chicken friend. Then I have some satay sauce because we are making the satay pizzas from the ebook tonight. I know I keep talking about the ebook, but this recipe is unbelievable. And it was actually written by my dad. So if you look at the recipe index, it is under dad's satay pizza. Nails it, seriously. I don't know how my dad came up with it, but so good. And then I had to grab a few things for myself. I got this Nivea um, cleanser. I bought this last year and it was really good. And then my favorite foundation of all time. I have used this for like five or six years and I love it. Rimmel, match perfection, incredible. So that is my little grocery haul. I'm gonna make some brekkie now. I'm gonna have the classic avocado and eggs on toast. You guys know lockdown is just the time for avocado and eggs and sweet chili sauce. Mm. Absolute perfection. I think we need to start an avocado and eggs with sweet chili sauce movement. If anyone has started eating that since seeing me eat it on the vlogs every day, please bloody tag me in your stories because this is life changing. And for anyone who hasn't had avocado and eggs with a swoosh of sweet chili, missing out. I'm telling you, missing out. Up until like six months ago, I never ate eggs. Like, I just didn't like the texture. I didn't know how to cook them. But now, I'm a changed woman. I probably have it like five days out of the week. Bit much. I have three sample proteins to try from Macro Mike. I don't know which one I want though. Because I've this is the new salted caramel. I have tried the like original almond salted caramel, but I'm not sure if it's changed. I might leave that one. But the options we have are deluxe chocolate, or banana cream pie. I don't know, maybe banana, because I feel like I've never had a banana flavored protein before. I, like, I know it's gonna be good, but probably not like chocolate honeycomb level good, you know? Does anyone just like wake up in the morning so excited for breakfast? Lockdown ain't so bad when you get to eat this every day. Here we go, taste test roux. 
Look guys, we topped her off with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Are you kidding me? This is just happiness. Um, I even had someone comment on my reel the other day that I posted of like a bit of my morning routine and I didn't share my breakfast because I was like, I make this every day, don't need to share it again. But obviously I do because someone was like, where's your avocado and eggs? And I was like, people are expecting it now. So from every vlog, every lockdown vlog from now, um, I will show you just to prove I, I am still having it. Okay, we got banana from Macro Mike. I feel like it's gonna taste like those little bananas that you get like in those lolly packs in Australia. I don't know if that's like worldwide, but that's what I'm guessing. Mm-hmm, exactly. Okay, that is so good. Oh, that is so good. She needs a bit more of a shake though. I'm gonna watch the Olympics and eat my breakfast. I've just had a shower and popped some makeup on. I'm feeling a lot better. I feel like when you wanna have a productive day at home, I feel like putting on a face of makeup makes so much difference. I don't know why. I've decided to go on and try and book in a vaccination again. So I was turned back from getting Pfizer a few weeks ago. As a partner of an essential worker, I should be allowed to get it, but was declined unfortunately. So I'm gonna try again. Okay, I think I can book this in. Okay, so I filled out the questionnaire for this particular date. <sighs> and it says, you are not eligible. I can't have the AstraZeneca vaccine because of some of the medication that I take. And so I've been recommended Pfizer. So I'm like, yes, absolutely, I'll get it. And then it's just like, I can't. It's just so frustrating. I've registered my interest for the next time they get some stuff in, but far out, that's so annoying. Thanks for coming on this journey for me to try and book in a vaccine. Honestly, if you have the opportunity to book it in, please do it because I wish I could. All right, I have been wanting to do this for a while, but I thought I would do a little clay tutorial. I just wanted to do a quick kind of like talk through the process. I know a lot of people are in lockdown right now and pottery is so much fun during lockdown. So I thought I would show you what I do and how to just make like a simple mug the easiest way possible because I feel like I've tried so many different ways of making cups. Yeah, this is just what works for me best. I've been doing ceramics for about a year now. Um, so I feel like I know enough like what I'm talking about. But then again, like I'm not technically like a professional. It isn't my job. This is just a hobby. Hope this inspires you guys to do some ceramics yourself. Now you can probably use about, I'd say two to 300 grams, maybe more on the side of 300 grams for a mug, just depending on how big you want it. You obviously want to make it a little bit bigger than what it is when you've made it, because when it goes into the kiln where it gets fired and turns into ceramic, it actually shrinks by like 10 to 20%. So you've got to take that into consideration. I need to buy a new wire cutter, but this is just the lazy gal way of getting my clay out is I just use my little wooden knife. Take off any rings you have on as well or any jewelry that you don't wanna get clay on because this is very messy. I would say this is a good amount of clay to be honest. Oh, I'll talk about the tools that I've got first and what my setup looks like. I've got a little bowl of water here. This clay that I use is a mid-fire clay and I find it really nice and moist anyway so you only need the tiniest bit of water. I've got a little wooden knife I've got this little one which I use for scoring and also I like the shape of the bottom of it because it's good for making the actual shape of the mug. And then I've got my rolling pin. I've got two different rolling pins. They are both equally good, um, but it's good to have one that's about 30 centimeters in length. And then I have my letters to stamp on any words if I want to, I don't know, write a little message on my mug. I don't know if this is interesting to anyone else, but I think it's fun. I just whack mine into uh, a sphere, really. Just the most round shape you can get is ideal. So just using my palms to do that, try not to get your fingers too much involved. Can you see that shape? I think that is pretty ideal. Like it's relatively round. It's obviously not perfect, but that is the sort of shape we are going for. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this, but literally drop it down on the ground and I just kind of start by twisting ever so slightly. Keep in mind, I also haven't wet my hands just yet. So I just slowly turn and kind of push the clay upwards a little bit, just kind of making more 
of this shape rather than a sphere. It gets the base nice and round. So yes, that is what we are looking like at the moment. Then I grab this tool, which has the little doobie at the bottom. I just go directly down the center. Do not touch the bottom. So don't go all the way through your cup. You wanna to go to about maybe got like one centimeter push down and kind of push into my palm don't put your fingers there just your palm so it stays nice and flat and then as you turn your clay you can turn your hand keep on pushing into your palm but also not going too far down so i'm just starting off by going about this deep and then progressively i'll get a little bit deeper and this process goes on until you are happy with the depth of your mug and the height. Also, you can use this to kind of push to the side and if you wanna pull up just a little bit um, to give the side of the mug a little bit more height. The next thing I grab is honestly one of my key tools and not many people, I, I honestly don't see too many people using rolling pins, but they literally saved my life. I like to use them just to firm that base and kind of make it nice and I guess even so have a look in there now and you can see how it's quite bumpy that's literally just going to smooth out the whole thing and then I can end up going around the um the outside of the mug and smoothing that as well with your rolling pin you can kind of use it to smooth out the edges as well if you have a rolling pin with handles that works too if your handles move have a look in there now how's that difference hey so much better I love it. This is what I mean if you have like a rolling pin that's handle moves. I find this really good because you can literally just roll it. Okay, now what I do, <laughs> this is honestly just like the easiest way to trim off the edges that I don't want. I put it on its side and straight down I push my little knife and kind of roll the cup with it like that just so that it can um, actually roll off smoothly. Not everyone wants to do this and that is so fine, but I personally like to. And we can always tidy up the edges um, afterwards, but it's good to get the majority of it off. So this is what it looks like when it is cut. I'm just gonna go ahead and tidy up the edges a little bit. And honestly, these bits that we have left over that we just cut off, we can even use for a little handle. We love recycling. This is honestly where the water really comes into play. Alrighty, I'll bring you in closely, but get some water on your hands and just pinch ever so slightly on those edges. Gives it a nice little rounded, top I guess now it's not going to be even it's not going to be perfect but I think that's the whole point I think that's why they look so cute is that they have a little bit of handmade character you know that is what we are looking like now what you always want to do is initial the bottom of your pieces even if you are just using like the end of a little knife or something but I like to use my letters so flip it and I just press in my J perfect so it literally just looks like that. We're gonna pop her to the side. Using this, I'm gonna make a little handle. I'm gonna make a handle that's more for holding one finger rather than the whole hand, because I think they look super cute. What you're gonna do is literally just roll it in your hands. This is perfect for small handles as well, because you don't need too much clay. I'll just roll it to the desired length that I want like this. That's probably where we want to go. I might cut, cut it a little bit shorter anyway. On your mug, you want to do a thing called scoring, which is literally just little, little hashtags that are going to be where you attach your handle onto. So here, for example, I'm going to score just on the side here and also just below it because I want to make a little cute finger handle and then score on the bottom of your handle where you're going to attach the pieces onto get a little bit of water pop some water on here here and both ends of the handle pop it on just like that then what you want to do is grab a really little piece of clay and roll it till it's a little teeny tiny worm like that chop it in half now this is going to go 
wrapped around the top and this is going to be what attaches the handle to the mug. Don't worry, we will blend this in. I know it looks kind of weird right now. We will blend that in. Again, same thing around the bottom. I use my modeling tool, dip it in some water and we are going to, I'm going to do this so you guys can see hopefully, but start by blending that little worm into the cup and then also onto the handle. Keep your modeling tool nice and wet so that it spreads nicely. All right, so it looks like that for now. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with my finger and just smooth it out a little bit because I find that using your finger is way better than the tools. That's what it's gonna look like for now. I'm sure I'll fix it up a little bit later, but that'll do. I think I wanna pop some words on here. Oh, she's looking a little bit wonky. This is actually quite a big mug, to be honest. I saw someone on Pinterest write on theirs, blow me, I'm hot, and I think that is so funny. So I'm gonna write that on there. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. Delicious. <laughs> Get a little apostrophe in there. She looks so cute. This is huge, by the way. This is a very big mug. Oh, beautiful. Guys, guess what? I have very good news. My tax return has been officially sent off and I'm so excited. It has taken me so long to do my tax return this year just because there were so many things to do. If you guys are self-employed, you know the bloody struggle of finding all the things that you've spent money on in the last year and then putting it into a spreadsheet and blah, blah, blah. I am so happy. I feel like a weight is lifted off my shoulders. I'm so stoked. We're gonna reward ourselves with a beach walk. Let's go for a walk. Simi, do you wanna show everyone your new harness? Look, this is his new harness. It has dinosaurs on it. Oh my gosh. Here's me. Put that down. That's your poo bag. Don't you look so handsome? Come on. Why are you crying over there? Come over here. Your lead's over here. Funniest thing, Simba gets like a little bit nervous before we go for walks and I don't know why. He'll like go and sit in his bed if we see the lead come out. Like he's obviously excited to go for a walk, but he just sat over there and went, it, yeah, it's really okay. I'll get some clips while I'm at the beach, but we're just gonna go for a nice walk. If I take you down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hear me with a quickie by the pool and I'm Hello, best. we are back. Someone is pooped from a big walk. Did you have fun? Did you have fun at the beach, Simi? You were such a good boy. Drank lots of water, played in the sand. For the next few hours, just until Geordie gets home from work, I'm probably gonna do a couple hours of work. Business stuff that I want to sort out and uh, I think a few of the samples have gone missing in the mail, which is not ideal. So I'm gonna try and follow those up. Anyway, I'm actually so sweaty. Like, note to self, don't wear a puffer on a sunny day. 